how to create a solid circle, an empty circle, and how to animate these circles in the Venture Resolve. Let's see how it's done. As you can see here, I've got a footage of a light. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle around that lighthouse. First thing that you want to do is go to the effects panel, go to generators and bring in the solid color. Drag and drop it inside your timeline, extend it to the length of your video, click on it, go to the inspector and go to color. Here select the color that you want your circle to be. Let's go with the generic red color. Okay, hit OK and there we have it. Our color is ready. Next step is to create a compound clip. Right click on the solid color, click on new compound clip. I'll name it circle. Hit create and we're done. Now right click on the compound clip and go to open in fusion page which will lead us to fusion page. Once we're in the fusion page, I'll close the clips and make this full screen. Okay. Now, once we are in the Fusion page, we have these two nodes. Click on the Media in node and click on this little circle which says Ellipse. Click on that and there we have it. We have a solid circle. Now, if your motive was to create a solid circle, you are done. You can go back to the Edit page, click on the circle, click on this button. You can resize it, keep it anywhere you want and do whatever you want with it. Solid circle is ready. Let me reset that. Now, let's say you want a circle which is empty but has just a stroke around it of certain color. How to do that? Click on this ellipse, go to the top right of your screen to inspector and as you can see here, solid. Just uncheck this box and the screen will go blank. But then you have border width above it. All you have to do is increase this value of border width and as you can see, there's a stroke around the circle and that's what we want, right? An empty circle with a stroke. So there we have it. The stroke is ready. Now the best part, animation. How to show it as though it has been drawn on the screen, right? Now there's two ways to do it. There's a hard way and then there's an easy way. I'm going to show you both of those just for the sake of knowledge. But if you want to see just the easy way, you can skip ahead in the timeline. There's a chapter given below. First, let's get started with the hard way. How to do that? It can be done in the fusion page. Click on the ellipse, go to the inspected app. And as you can see here, length. Now, if I reduce the length, as you can see, it gets loaded off, right? So the hand-drawn effect is there. All you have to do is keyframe the length. Let's see how that's done. Go to the first frame of your video. Click on the slider and take it all the way to the left-hand side to zero. Then click on length, click this diamond and make sure that the value is zero. Then go a bit ahead in the video, somewhere around this much and then click on the diamond again and then extend this value from zero to one. So what we did was basically keyframed it from zero to one. So now if I play the video, first let it load, it's loaded. Now if I play it, see, it got drawn on the screen. But there's a few problems. First one being it starts from the right hand side. We don't want that. So to fix that, what we can do is, as you can see, it starts here, right? So go to the angle, which is the last parameter and make it 90. Hit enter and we have done it. It starts from the top now. Second problem is when it starts, it has this little thing above here. If you don't want anything up there, all you have to do is change the cap style from round, which is now to flat. So if you make the cap style flat, it will start from nothing. And if you make it round, it will start from something. Okay, let's keep it flat for now. And play it. Yeah. Now another problem with this is that this is a very linear motion, right? It's not smooth, right? We want to make it smooth. How to do that? Just click on the ellipse, go to the spline up here. Click on that. Here, then let's extend this and make sure you select the ellipse and length. Now I'll go to the left hand side. See the graph? There's two points, one and two, the two keyframes that we had put before. Now let's reduce the height of it. Once you see these two keyframes, all you have to do is select both of these keyframes and press S on your keyboard. And as you can see, it became much smoother. Now, if you go back to the edit page and see, we have a perfect circle. Now, say you want this to go in a clockwise direction. All you have to do, click on the circle and click on flip horizontally. Just click on that and you're done. And you go clockwise. So that was the hard way and that's how you can animate the circle the hard way. Now, let's check out the easy way. But first for that, we'll have to go back to fusion and reset everything to as it was to remove all kinds of animations. Okay, we have reset the length and the angle. Now we just have a simple stroke with nothing inside it. Now for the easy way, you don't have to do anything in the fusion after creating the circle. Just go back to the edit page. In the edit page, go to effects, go to video transitions and here search for white. As you can see here, we've got clockwise. If you hover over it, it goes like that. So just drag and drop it over your circle, extend it a bit and if you play it, See, we've got the perfect animation. Now, we've got to change a few things. First, smoothen it out. 
click on the animation go to inspector and in ease go to in and out now if i play it it's much smoother you can also make it faster by reducing the size of the transition so it will go faster now you might think that the animation is done and ready no there's a few more steps first you can obviously make it anti-clockwise and if i just uncheck this the animation will go anti-clockwise if i change the angle you can set any angle that you want if i set it to minus 90 it will start from the left side yeah so you can change the angles and everything but now the most important part if you click on this circle and if you resize it and place it anywhere like i had said above the lighthouse what will happen is let me show you i click on the transition increase the border so you can understand what's going on it goes like that why because when you apply a transition it takes the whole canvas and then applies the transition to that canvas now the circle in our canvas is smaller right we want it to the fixed size so just reset the size of the circle and it will work perfectly but obviously we want to resize it to that little lighthouse right how to do that make sure that your circle is set to the original size once you've done that right click go to new compound clip and here we'll name it transition circle hit create and now the animation works perfectly and if i resize it somewhere around here it will still work perfectly why because we have put the circle and the transition inside a box and we are moving the whole canvas that's the concept of compound clip right now so that's the easy way all you have to do is come to the edit page click on the compound clip add a clock wipe effect create a compound clip again and then resize it now after you're done animating let's say you want to change the speed of the transition or the color of the circle how to do that all you have to do is right click on this compound clip and open in timeline then you can change the speed of the transition yeah now let's say you want to change the color right again open this compound clip open it in timeline and then click on the solid color and change the color and to go back to the main timeline simply double click down here on the bottom left or just click on this button and enable display stack timelines which will show you timelines something like this which is much easier so those were the two ways to animate the circle guys and that's about it for this video i hope you find this video useful and if you do make sure you like the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel i post such video editing tutorials how to tech videos tech reviews i stream games occasionally and i post some knowledgeable and informative shots i also have a website where i post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that i just mentioned and i also have a gumroad show where you can get access to motion graphic elements at a super affordable price and that brings us to the end of this video guys thank you for watching the video i'll see you all next time bye bye